Hi everyone on YouTube. So I am bringing you along with me as I begin my Boro uh, Sashiko inspired project. And I am doing a very simple running stitch. And I have put together two uh, very simple uh, designs Boro building and I'll show you what they look like. You can probably see this one is very simplistic and so is this one. Very simplistic. So um, now I'm keeping in mind the theme of space and time because that is the theme that I created a wall piece for that inspired me to actually make this skirt or wrap. This can be used, I think this is going to be a nice upper wrap also. So space and time, as I keep that in mind, right, it helps me focus um, on some earthly tones, on some what I think might be celestial tone, uh, celestial um, designs such as the triangle, the mandala, the flower, and, and um, I just, it, it just helps me keep a focus on developing the design. So um, if you have plaids or you have fabrics that have shapes in them uh, and, and they're, they're scrap pieces and they're cotton like this, um, this, is, this is amazing to get a triangle. I am definitely going to work with that on my sashiko. Uh, stitching. I do very simplistic running stitches or freestyle that go all different directions. Seed stitching, blanket, uh, French knots. I keep my work very simplistic, but by the time I'm done, it looks a little intricate. Let's put it that way. It looks like it's had some attention. <laughs> So, um, if you have any questions and you're beginning your Boro Sashiko uh, project, you need to get a base, uh, organic, uh, you know, cotton, silk, uh, wool is the best kind of base to work with. I am using a regular uh, needle that the, um, it's, the eye is wide enough to get a thread through that is a crochet lacy thread or this type of thread. And um, so that's what I'm working with, but you can use, seriously, you can use from a regular needle and thread, which is a very, very thin thread to a weight eight on the, um, or even two, two is uh, actually thicker, but if you're using Sashiko thread, um, so you'll see that listed on Amazon also. So anyway, I hope that helps you get started on your project. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Sometimes the same questions come in and I'm more than happy to answer them as we start new projects. You have a beautiful day.